Hello, Sagittarius. It's Milady, and this is Milady's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly express love reading for the week of December 5th through the 12th, 2022. The cards I'm using today are Wisdom of the House of Night by PC Cass. Okay. And I'm closing off with The Gothic Tarot by Joseph Virago. Virgo. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. All right, more foes. Let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on with the Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, so we got the meditation card reversed here. So this makes me feel like somebody is not getting enough or a lot of time to themselves to sit and think about situations and find out what they really need to do about them, okay? All right, this goes here. Oh, yeah. So somebody is not happy. Somebody not happy, not getting what they want, Okay. Um, and I do feel like somebody really don't know this yet because they running around too much. Somebody running around too much, somebody too busy getting things together, helping people, doing this, doing that, changing the kids, you know, whatever the case may be. And they're not realizing that they're not happy. I'm doing all this for everybody else and I'm getting nothing for myself. Not even the part about getting things. It's just all about, um... Just not being happy. It's not even about things. It's just like I didn't realize I'm not happy. All right. So we got a lot of chaos. I mean, the chaos reverse. Okay. So I do feel like somebody's coming out of a time of chaos, just stuff all over the place. And I do feel like it's time to slow down. Everything is slowing down, getting more peaceful and more calm. Okay. They fix, uh, well, extending the house across the street. So if you hear drills and stuff, sorry. All right. All right, so we got the strength card reversed here. So, of course, you could be dealing with Leo energy, but I do feel like somebody is starting to feel weak to a situation. So maybe the chaos is over because I'm just not fighting for this anymore, okay? I just don't got the energy in me to fight, okay? All right, so we got the belonging card here. Yeah, I don't have the energy to fight. You know, all this stuff I'm doing, I'm running around trying to make everything, make sure everything together. And I feel like I ain't nobody being there for me emotionally, physically, mentally, anything, okay? I feel like an outsider in my own home, okay? I feel like an outsider here. So that goes to uh, with the unfulfilled. Somebody is not feeling fulfilled in their home, own home, okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Did I flip this one? I think I did. All right, let's keep going. What's going on? Mm-hmm. All right, so we got the high priestess of fire here. Oh, goodness. So when I saw this, my neck started getting a little weird, and I started seeing somebody that I like, okay? So I do feel like somebody is not having a great time at home. Somebody is somebody getting ready to cheat. Okay, that's what it looked like here. Because when I saw this, I saw somebody looking at an outsider, somebody that's not in the relationship. And I do feel like somebody's having those grown-up feelings about this person. Ooh. I can feel it. The heart beating fast. Uh, everything getting hot. My neck feels squoze because it's like, I, I can't believe I feel like this kind of thing. Okay? Mm. Or it could be one of those relationships where... Somebody on the side with a, somebody that's very aggressive. Oh, goodness. All right. So, we got the denial card right here. All right. So, I do feel like somebody is going through the back and forth about at this household, okay? In this house and then a denial about this person that they care about. I mean, not care about, but they're um, basically lusting after. But I do feel like, yeah, I do feel like once you, if you ever get alone with this person, I do feel like you're going to realize that it's real. 
it's real. That connection is real. Sometimes we just meet people and we just want to go grab them. <laughs> okay. And I do feel like this is one of those situations. Okay. All right. So we got the cycles card here. So this makes me feel like this happens a lot. This happens all the time um, when it comes to uh, just not feeling like I belong where I am. Okay. And I do feel like only thing is different this time is I'm connecting with somebody um, that I feel like I want to step out with. Okay. That's what it look like here. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say it like it is. Okay. So I'm going to close off with the. Okay. Mm, of course, that's going to be there. The high priestess closed off with the Gothic tarot. Who is that? Um, Joseph Virago. But we got the high priestess, so it looked like it's going to be some secrets going on here. And I do feel like it's this relationship. It's just like my home is madness. This person outside brings me passion and peace. Okay. All right, so we got the death card reversed here. So I do feel like, yep, somebody wanted this situation to end. Some of you already did this, already went through this, already said you're leaving, didn't leave. Somebody denial about everything being over, about all the chaos being over in the household, chaos over in the household, so I'm going back home. Um, I don't want to deal with this person on the side anymore, okay? It is not over. It's not over. Okay, the chaos at home is not over. Not and not this relationship on the side. Okay, it's not over. Okay. What is that? Six of Swords. So this Six of Swords is like this chaos card up here. Okay. Mm. Yep, that's exactly what I was saying. So... The Six of Swords is like calm and peace, somebody far away from their family, and I do feel like they're getting ready to go back, okay? So this is exactly the energy that I was feeling is somebody think it's over, but it's not, okay? So somebody is away from their family. They're getting ready to go back to their family because everything then went down, you know, the crazy energies then went down, uh, but... I feel like it ain't over. As soon as you make me mad, I'm going back to the side. Okay? Okay. Oh, All right, there it is. We got the Empress reverse. So, somebody better be careful. Because with this Empress and this High Priestess here, I do feel like some pregnancies may end up happening and it's connected to the person on the outside of the relationship. Okay? Um, I do feel like if it's not uh, pregnancies, I do feel like somebody is getting ready to start an ongoing situation, ongoing relationship, going to be cycles. Every time you get mad at me, I'm going over there. Okay. Oh, goodness. All right. So I do feel like nothing is changing also with this Empress Reverse. That makes me feel like this is how the whole thing is going to be. And it's going to stay like that until you actually cut this person off. But when you cut that person off, of course, they're not going to let it go that easy. They're going to continue to call you and try to contact you. And you're going to think about all the great things that they have done to you. And you're going to be weak and call them back. Where It was a weakness card here. Strength card reverse. Yep. That's that piece is definitely coming knocking at you. There it is again. Strength card. Strength card. It's definitely Leo energy here. Fire sign energy, very strong here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm feeling water cancer energy from this high priestess, okay? A mm, little bit of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but the most part, another fire sign, okay? But strength, you weak to this person. So if this person tries to come around you, tries to contact you, tries to feel you, you cannot deny the, the feeling for long. And you roll over okay but i don't know you can break the cycle whenever you want but other than that 
that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.